All right, everybody, welcome to the video here for lesson number three on how to dilate a figure on the coordinate plane when the center of dilation is not the origin. So let's take a look at this question for the homework. So it asks us to label a square. So first thing we want to do is we want to plot the points. So there's that first point, 5, negative 2, goes over here, 5, 4 is up here. So we can start to see the square come to play and negative one force here. So take your boxes, take your lines, use a straight edge when you can. So here's point A, B, C, and D. Then I want to graph the point 2, 1. It looks to be right about in the center of the uh, square, which will make this kind of easy. All right, so to dilate this, right, about point M, so let's dilate point A. So to get from M to A, I go down 3 to the left 3. So if I want to dilate it by scale factor of 2, I want to double that. So I'm going to go down 6 to the left 6. So there's A prime. Same thing with B. So if I go down 3 to the right 3, double that. So I want to go down 6 to the right 6. So I'm going in the same path, just doubling the distance up 3 to the right 3, so up 6 to the right 6. Up 3 to the left 3, so up 6 to the left 6. There's D prime. Notice this square got significantly bigger. The sides are going to be double in length, but the area is not, and that's what they're going to ask us here on the bottom. All right. So it says, describe the relationship between the area of square ABC and square EFG. Oh, actually, I labeled these wrong. So this should be E. E. F. G. And H. Good thing we noticed that. All right, so... The relationship here is since it's a scale factor of 2 for the sides, the scale factor of the area is going to be 4. So I could say the ratio of area A, B, C, D to E, F, G, H is 1 to 2. Because I'm comparing the small square to the big square. So the small square is going to be half of the big square. Now, if you said the area, not half, sorry, four. Sorry, four. All right. Because so remember, the area is the sides ratio squared. So the sides ratio is one to two. So the area's ratio is going to be one to four. So it's all about what we're actually here comparing. Okay. And that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward question, right? Um, we could even say the ratio of the sides. You can compare side BC becomes side GF and a bunch of different stuff there. But for right now, we're just looking at um, the ratio of the areas for this question. Hopefully this video helped. Nice, short, and sweet homework assignment. Hopefully you got a chance to do it. And I'll see you all tomorrow in class.